Hello my friends and welcome to Turn 1 Soaring. So it's been a while since I have done a so you're building and I wanted to get back into doing weekly videos again. I haven't been doing that as well of late. So I scoured the multiverse. I'm looking for different weird legendaries. You gotta have, have something kind of interesting to kind of kick this series back off. And as such, I found Patron of the Moon. Now, I love weird tribal decks, and Patron is no exception. So, for the first time in a long time, this is So You're Building for Patron of the Moon. Quick disclaimer, most of the content in this video is going to be coming from me looking at an article by Tomer Abramovici over on mtggoldfish.com. I will be linking the article in the description below if you want to go check it out for yourself. And uh, I do want to point out that here on the channel, this is not something I normally do where I just look at one source for the entire thing. I like to compare different sources, but I really like this article, so I wanted to feature it here on the channel. Now, the Patreon doesn't really have any of the magic story connected to it, and the Moon Folk aren't really a big tribe in magic. In fact, there are 14 in Moon Folk printed in the entire history of magic, and only 13 of them are legal and commander. We're gonna bring up the band one now. All right, look at this. Not bad, when you cast four spells, flip it. We're gonna flip it. And now you see why it was banned. Getting a soft lock early on in the game against your opponents is bad. Looking at you, Zerdex, Sin Triplet Dex, But that's besides the point. So this isn't going to be as much as Moonfolk Tribal. It's going to be how many mono blue infinite combos can we cram into a deck and how many can we get to feature the Patron and the Crescents. Let's dive in. So something that the Moonfolk all tend to do is bounce lands to give you some kind of effect. For instance, Sorotami Minesweeper has pay two, bounce one, and he gives you some mill. So thinking about this, Patron is a great compliment because he'll allow you to put lands you bounce back onto the field. So let's throw all the Moonvoke in to make sure this is our main strategy. This means that Floodbringer, who taps lands, Obero Breezecaller, who can untap lands, Saratami Cloud Skater, who has great draw and discard, Moonbow Illusionist, who changes lands, Obero Envoy, who is a great defensive piece, Sorotami Rainshaper, another great defensive piece, Sorotami Mirror Guard, who can make something unblockable, Sorotami Mirror Mage, who can bounce a creature, Sorotami Savant, who is a nice little counterspell, Maloku the Clouded Mirror, who can make flying 1-1s, one Sorotami Seer, who is a personal wheel, and finally, Uyo the Silent Prophet, who is a great spell copier, are all going to be in this deck. Woo! Alright. Now you're probably wondering how to turn all of that into infinite combos. Okay, so Tomer has a couple that I really like in his article, so let's talk about them. For this recipe, you're going to need one Patron of the Moon, one Amulet of Vigor, any of our moon folk, pick one, one High Tide, one Sun Scorched Desert. First we cast High Tide, and then we tap an island, it's a mono blue deck, if you don't have any in here, what the hell are you doing? and Sun Scorched Desert, producing 3 mana. We then use one of our Moon Folk, let's use the Moon Folk that Tomer did, Maloku the Clouded Mirror, and activate its ability twice. We should bounce said island and Sun Scorched Desert to hand, floating 1 blue mana because of High Tide. We then use that extra mana to activate Patron of the Moon's ability, returning the lands to the battlefield, pinging an opponent, and because of Amulet of Vigor, Sun Scorched will enter untapped. We then repeat the process to slowly dehydrate our opponents. This combo will probably be the heart and soul of your deck, and it is relatively easy to swap pieces in and out of it. For instance, you can swap in a mill piece for Sun Scorched Desert, or you could replace Patron and Amulet of Vigor for Walking Atlas and Retreat to Coral Helm to achieve a more roundabout way of doing it. Another combo that Tomer mentions is an infinite turn loop. For this fantastic recipe, you'll need the following. 1. Mystic Sanctuary 1. Time Warp 1. Moonfolk, preferably Maloku First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Then, cast Time Warp. Then, put the cake in the oven. Now, you're going to play Mystic Sanctuary, putting Time Warp from your graveyard on top of your library. Now, you take your extra turn, drawing your surprise, Time Warp. 
Now here's the difficult part. Tap your Mystic Sanctuary for one, and use Maloku to bounce it back to your hand. Play Time Warp again, and then play Mystic Sanctuary. Get Time Warp back. The cool thing here is not only are you taking infinite turns, but you're also generating infinite 1-1 flyers. Also, take that cake out of the oven, it's done. Now, with this deck, you're not going to want to play Patron of the Moon until you're ready to combo off. Costing 7 mana is on the high side for a commander, and is a bit much in my opinion. That being said, playing a monocolored deck can be a fun challenge. Now, blue doesn't have a whole lot of removal, but two cards I'd recommend are Rapid Hybridization and Curse of the Swine. These are the two best ways of really getting rid of creatures that blue has. That being said, I'd say run your favorite counterspells, and since we already have some Moonfolk whose abilities are removal based, that is just an added bonus for us. Obviously, we're going to want to make our Moonfolk's abilities cheaper, and the sad thing is we don't have a whole lot of support for that, as Training Grounds is the only card we have as support. This kind of sucks, but as a monocolor deck, eh, we gotta make it work. So what do you think? Would you play a Moonfolk Tribal featuring all of the infinite combos deck? Or do you have some kind of counter to this deck? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share this with all of your friends who play Magic. It really does help the channel grow. Something else that helps the channel grow is subscribing. Please do consider subscribing and make sure to ring that bell so you know when the next Harlan Soldering video is uploaded. Now, uh, I do have some ideas for videos coming up, uh, but it's just going to be a matter of when I kind of put those ideas into action. So there should be a different kind of plethora of uh, content options for you if you've been looking for certain things from the channel. But if you are definitely looking for certain things from the channel, please do you know ask away in the comments below. You can be like, hey, can you try making this video? Uh, can you try doing this? I take ideas from any and all sources, um, and we'll be looking through all of them. I don't know if there will be a Commander Club this month because COVID and because Ikoria pre-release, but we might do something interesting instead, so uh, do keep your eyes open for that. So as always everybody, have great games and have a good one.